isolated plant source of protein. It's very difficult to get enough without going over on total calories because you can figure that, especially like somebody who may be calorically restricted. I used to be in the camp of, there's no way somebody can build as much muscle on a plant-based diet. And now I think I've come back to, you can, it just requires a little bit more planning. Some of the better forms of vegan protein in terms of amino acid content are like soy. Now I can everybody, I hear everybody screaming online about their testosterone levels. In terms of actual outcomes and looking at testosterone, there was a recent meta-analysis looking at soy. And I think if it's your only source of protein, then maybe the dosage is high enough to cause some weird effects. But if you're just using it like once or twice a day, it doesn't seem to have an effect on testosterone or estrogen. One of the studies we did was we looked at wheat, soy, egg, and whey, equated protein between the groups, isocaloric, we equated, we equated calories, and we looked at muscle protein synthesis. The meals were 15% of total energy from protein. So like, a, like your food guide pyramid level of protein. Uh, and we saw that in the wheat and soy group, they did not increase muscle protein synthesis, but the egg and whey group increased muscle protein synthesis. Now, what's really interesting is we went back and we took wheat and added free leucine to it to match the leucine content of whey and the protein synthetic response was identical. Hmm. I, I don't like to simplify things too much, but leucine appears to really be driving this ship. Corn is actually very high in leucine as a percentage of its protein. Now you gotta remember like you, you go eat corn on a cob and you're getting like two grams of total protein. So it's not that much leucine, but if you isolate out the protein, put it into a powder, well now, you know, when you're getting like 80, 90% of the weight is now protein, corn is actually about 12% leucine in terms of the protein. So a great source of leucine, it is like almost frank deficient in some other amino acids, but you can blend it with a few other sources of protein. Like you could blend it with a soy, uh, a pea, and you can create these complementary blends that would actually have quite a bit of leucine, but also some of the other essential amino acids. So there are options out there for plant-based folks. And I mean, we have seen people who are plant-based build impressive amounts of muscle. There's quite a few bodybuilders that are plant-based. And a lot of the um, endurance athletes like it. And even 